Theater Box Friday, man. It is back once again. And this time, I believe it is week 22 now. So we're only four weeks away from reaching the halfway point of a year. Anyway, since we're almost at the halfway point, I wanted to make you guys a deal. If this video gets to 5,000 likes, for week 26, the halfway point, I will purchase a $5,000 beater box for you guys. So make sure you guys like this video, 5,000 likes, it should be dope. So yeah, like the video. Anyway, let's get into this. Aloha YouTube, what is up? Untitled Warrior here coming at you with another video. In this video, we have a $2,325 beater box from Soul Supremacy, man. That is so, so expensive, but these boxes have been very, very good at the higher tier level. So we're hoping that this $2,300 box will come through once again. Now, this one was purchased from Soul Supremacy, man. You guys know what it is. Soul Supremacy is the king of beater boxes, and I know they're gonna pull through once again. So let's just get right into it, guys. And did I forget that it is actually November 1st? So that means that we're due for another untied dream sneaker giveaway, man. So this will be month number two of the untied dream sneaker giveaway. If you guys don't know what the untied dream shoe giveaway is, basically what I'm doing is that I'm doing a giveaway where you guys can win your personal dream pair of sneakers. Now I know a lot of YouTubers, they give away Yeezys or they give away Jordans, but honestly, every person is different, man. And what your opinion of what is hot might be different than another person. So that's why I'm letting you guys choose your own dream sneaker of up to a thousand dollars for the month of November. And it's really, really easy to enter. Basically, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, and also follow me on Twitter. And number four is the most important. Don't forget to comment down below what your dream sneaker is, what your shoe size is, and also your social media handle. So I know that you guys followed on Twitter and on Instagram. So be sure to comment down below to enter. The first one went really well, and I know that the person was super stoked that won. So I hope you guys are next. Untied dream shoe giveaway, man. Now it is time for the beater box. Let's get into this. So much good stuff today. First things first, what do we have here? This is a pair of Kobe's and this one is in a size 10 and a half. Now I'm not certain what this colorway is, but it's a pretty interesting sneaker, man. You guys can see the Kobe logo up here. Also on the back heel shows Kobe over here and overall just a very vibrant kind of design. Like I said, this one is in a size 10 and a half with no box and I'm guessing there's not too much value on this one, but it's probably more of a filler pair. So you guys just follow along over here on the counter. Hopefully we make money on this box. Um, Looks like we have another pair of Kobe's. Wow, okay. <laughs> you don't see Kobe's too often anymore, man. Uh, this one is also in a size 10 and a half. And I believe these are the Kobe 11s or something like that. Um, and this is, looks like an Oreo kind of colorway. Standard pair of Kobe's right here. Looks like it is definitely worn. Those bottoms are dirtied up. Uppers don't look too bad though. This knit is all good still, so there's no issues up here. And just a really nice design, dude. I really like this. This looks clean. I can actually fit this, so this might end up being a gym shoe. We gotta see. I always love it when the pairs come in my size because then you have the option of keeping it. Now we can get into the shoes with boxes. This one is a size seven. Nike Dunk High, and we have, whoa, nice. We have a pair of the Tiffany Dunk Highs. It's called the Tiffany Dunk Highs because you guys see that diamond up here. It is from Diamond Supply Co., but it has that Tiffany blue running throughout the shoe, those blue laces and that blue upper. And it's just a very, very iconic shoe actually because the original low Tiffany Dunk is like super iconic. And that's actually one of the shoes that first got me like super hyped over sneakers. So I never owned the highs. I don't think these are as nice as the lows, but definitely still a piece that a lot of people want and I know there's pretty good value on this so very stoked to see that in a beater box man it's like strictly heat in here from now on dude I've only seen like good boxes that are left up in here so this one is a size 6 human race NMD and I believe this is series 1 because it says 2016 on the box and for this one <laughs> nice another dope sneaker now this one is the human race in the green colorway so you guys can check it out over here it has that hue with that triangle over here green upper, boost technology, and it looks like it's actually in pretty clean condition for a worn sneaker. Insides look fine, no problems on the uppers, caging looks good. So another good boost to the counter over there, man. This one should be fetching some good money still. Like the Human Race series kind of died out in terms of like hype and in terms of resale, but the OG colorways, the ones that started it all, these usually fetch some good prices still. So good pickup right there. And now we have a Jordan 1 box. This one is in a size 6Y. And for this one, 
Ooh, interesting. Jordan 1 in like a pink kind of colorway. I'm not sure what foundation this is supposed to be for, but you guys see that little logo on the back. Let me do my research on that. I'm sure it popped up on the screen though, so you guys know what organization this was from. But it should fetch good money there, man. Jordan 1s, you guys already know what it is. Like they are worth a lot of money. And the next shoe out is a Jordan 11. This one is in a size nine and a half. And here we actually have a pair of the Windlake 82s. So this is a really nice Jordan 11 right here. You guys already know it has that nice patent leather running throughout the shoe. This one looks to be like maybe worn once. There's some slight creasing over here on the toe box, but it's very, very minuscule. The rest of the patent leather does not look touched at all, which is a really, really good sign for the sneaker. And when you guys check out the bottoms, still pretty icy. It doesn't look like there's too much like discoloration or dirt on there. So very close to dead stock. Good shoe right here. These will probably fetch about, I'm guessing close to 200 bucks. All right, and next shoe out is a Jordan one box. This one is in a size 10 and a half. Ooh, <laughs> okay. Man, I just bought a pair of breads and now one came in a beater box in my size. Um, this one is a 2016 Jordan 1 bread and it looks like it's in really, really good condition. Like when you guys check this thing out over here, very iconic colorway for sure, the bread, black and red. The condition looks nice on this man, like no heavy toe box creasing, uppers look good, nothing too crazy going on here. There's a kind of a decent amount of heel drag, but not super, super bad yet. I just bought a pair of Jordan 1 breads for the collection actually like two weeks ago and then they show up in a box. This would have been an automatic keeper if I did not already just pick up that pair. Such a fire shoe, dude, man. This beater box is crazy so far. So much heat and there's still two very hype shoes left as well because this one, it looks like is a Yeezy one box and this one is in a size seven and a half. And what do we have here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. the tag, what? The tag is attached. No, no. So this is a pair of dead stock moon rocks. No way. That is so sick. Check this thing out, man. Still has that tag attached. Dead stock Yeezy V1 moon rock, dude. Uppers look perfectly fine. No issues with the suede over here. Bottoms, that boost looks perfectly intact. I don't see any wear on the sole, so it does indeed look like a dead stock pair, which makes this a very, very good pickup because V1s aren't doing too well on the used market, but for brand new pairs, this will fetch a good amount of money, man. So very nice pickup right there. <laughs> That's crazy. That is so sick. So, so far we have the Jordan 1 bread, we have the human race, and we also have that dead stock V1 moon rock. But I'm hoping those aren't the money shoes of the box because there is one left that is a very hype sneaker because it is in an off-white box, Nike Swoosh. So I'm assuming that this one has to be the most expensive piece of the box. This one is in a size 10. Okay, maybe not the most expensive actually because this one is a pair of the, ooh. <laughs> I take that back. I saw Air Max 90s black and I was assuming that it was the black version of the Air Max 90s, but this is actually the original, the 10 colorway, man. So this one goes for a lot more money. So if you guys check this out over here, this is the off-white Air Max 90, man. Very clean design up here. You guys can see that off-white branding over here. Uppers look perfectly, perfectly good. Even the bottoms look very, very clean as well. So this is a very nice pickup right here. Other shoe looks the same. A bunch of laces in here too. So I guess it has OG all and it also has that zip tag that you guys always need with the off-white or else it's not an off-white, right? This is definitely, well, I'm not sure if I can say definitely because this one will probably like be rivaling that V1 dead stock moon rock. So either way, no matter what, this box was incredible, dude. Hype Jordan 1s, Jordan 11s, off-whites, Yeezy V1s, human races, it doesn't get better than that. Like in terms of ease of movability and like in terms of like variety, this was a killer box. And as you guys can see, I am super excited. So that is actually it for this box. I'm guaranteeing, guaranteeing that we made way, way more than 23, 25, which is the price that we paid for the box. So hopefully we're able to sell all of these things really quick. If you guys do wanna purchase any of these pairs, they will be on untiedhawaii.com. Hopefully you guys go quick because they do sell out pretty fast, especially when they're like hyped Air Max 90s and stuff off-white. So make sure you guys go quick. Additionally, don't forget to enter month number two of the Untied Dream Shoe giveaway, man. Up to a $1,000 dream sneaker for free for one of you guys just trying to make the Untied Ohana's dreams come true because you guys have made my sneaker dreams come true. So that is my thank you to you guys. And I just wanna continuously give back as much as I can to you guys. So don't forget to enter. All you guys gotta do is subscribe, follow the Instagram, follow the Twitter, and comment your dream shoe with its size and your social media handles down below. Super easy, doesn't take very much time at all. And also don't forget to like the video, guys. If you like the video, we get to 5,000 likes, then we will get a 5,000 
thousand dollar beater box for week 26 of mystery box fridays halfway point of a year we got to make it a huge box right so make sure you guys hit those like buttons anyway thank you guys so much for watching and until next time guys stay humble stay blessed take care i will see you on the next episode aloha shoot